I just helped a first home buyer in Victoria purchase this house. Very nice, isn't it? Mm hmm. I especially like the backyard. Love the wooden floors. This is the floor plan and it's a double story house at Templestow Lower. And in this video, we'll go behind the scenes and break down the purchase of this $1.728 million house. So number one, let's look at income. So these clients came from TikTok, saw my videos about three months ago, been sussing me out, and they decided to contact me for this purchase. So they have one kid, male applicant is 148K, female applicant is 130K. He works in business analyst industry. He, she works in software development. They were both born in 1990s, which makes them 32 years old each. Number two, in terms of savings, male applicant has 255K in savings, has 363K in term deposits. Female applicant has 185K in savings. So in total, 803k in savings. We borrowed 80% of 1728, which makes it to 1.382400. Purchase price is 1.728. They only need 20% plus stamp duty, which equals to 432 from their savings. They're left with 371k of their own savings after the purchase. In terms of the bank, they went with A and P because they like the rate and the fixed rate. And we got a rate lock on the two-year fixed rate, which is very low. And we did a 552 variable and a 829 fix, which is a hybrid loan, fixed and variable. You might ask why did we have a hybrid loan because they have 371 after the purchase so rather than putting this in a high interest savings account which is very low we offset this variable loan by this much and then a major portion of it we'll be fixing it because they won't have any more you know remaining funds to offset the fixed loan now the reason we made the variable loan 552k rather than the exactly 371 because i asked them in two years fixed period how much can they save per year they said 150k each so we gave them a buffer of variable 552 so they have more room to put more money into the offset account this is what the client has to say how are you going mate just want to let you know it's settled i just got confirmation Oh, thank you. That's all. That's all smooth. Yeah, it's um, all done, mate. I, yeah, hopefully you you know enjoy the new house. Um, and maybe yeah, in the future you're gonna probably buy some more, right? Because you got some money in your offset. Yeah, yeah. Um, once once we uh, um, once once I move into this one, yeah, it's our, just our first first uh, first first house. Oh. As you can see, very happy with the service. It's exactly what they saw in my other TikTok videos applied to their circumstances. They like the hybrid loan approach and they like the holistic solution I gave them throughout the pre-approval to the purchase process. And with some of my experience, I also helped them how to negotiate with the property purchase. It was actually going for $1.8 million. So we kind of taught them how to lowball the seller, which they agreed, and then it was settled at $1.728 million. Probably just settled about two to three weeks ago and look at the property valuation right now. I'm going to compute evaluation again, it's worth $1.83 million. So guys, jump in the comments and let me know what you think about this purchase. Really good buy and do you have that sort of income? <laughs>